transporting valuable works of art like this one is an enormous undertaking. New York's Metropolitan Museum of Art has sent a courier to Wuppertal to oversee the operation right up until the moment the painting is hung on the wall. That's when we were allowed to film. But this expert is not allowed to talk about the logistics of the transport or even the special temperature-controlled storage facility, let alone discuss the painting's condition. It's all top secret. Obviously, it's very exciting. But I've been doing this job for almost 20 years and I don't get as nervous as I used to. Of course, a Claude Monet is very special indeed because it's very valuable. And an exhibition of Monet on this scale has virtually never been possible before. For the next four and a half months, responsibility for the painting rests with the von der Heidt Museum. The exhibition features some 100 paintings by the French Impressionist, including 30 water lilies. This is the first ever retrospective of Monet in Germany, and quite an accomplishment, because galleries don't usually like to lend their collections. We were very fortunate because from the outset, the Musée Marmottan Monet had promised to lend us 30 water lilies. I was able to talk to the museum's director, and it wasn't too hard to persuade him to lend us some more Monet paintings from the Musée Marmottan Monet, because in return we lent Paris our Expressionists. It was much harder to get the other paintings. I traveled around France and Switzerland persuading the various museum directors to lend me the paintings they had. In the end, 35 museums from all over the world agreed. Restorer Andreas Igelhaut checks the surface of each painting in minute detail, looking for tears in the canvas or spots where paint has peeled or crumbled. He'll repeat the process every week for the duration of the exhibition. It's an especially important procedure in the case of paintings that are showing their age. A few days ago, I noticed that a small piece of the frame had broken off and was lying in the box. It's very convenient when you have the tools to fix that sort of thing on the spot and are able to put the fragment back where it belongs. Then it doesn't get lost and you're not left with a gaping hole. Claude Monet was more interested in light and atmosphere than realism. Over a century ago, this was a revolutionary approach, and one reason why he's seen as having paved the way for abstract art. The museum director is personally training the volunteer guides, who will be shepherding visitors through the exhibition once it opens. He says they will play a key role in its success. After Monet began referring to most of his paintings in terms of effet and impression, or effect and impression, one critic started raging about all these impressions, and how ghastly they were, and how unfinished they looked. And that's how the term impressionism was coined. It's taken two years to put together the exhibition. The information panels are being installed in the basement of the museum, while upstairs, the last painting is being hung on the wall, the second one on loan from New York's Metropolitan Museum. Public anticipation is already growing. Many tours have already been booked for the most comprehensive exhibition of Monet's works ever seen in Germany.